Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1 Fathead Candy Roth. Uh, we're looking at 40 for the high today, a lot less than yesterday's 50 something. Um, 35 for the high tomorrow. And you might even see a tiny little snow flurry this morning. That won't amount to anything, but uh, you may. You may see it falling out of the sky today. We'll see in different areas on the island. Um, and we are headed to our warmest January. Uh, after today, when January is over, since 1964 on Long I'm, Island. I'm thrilled. Yeah. Congratulations. I know. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, truly. Uh, another note for you, a uh, reminder, uh, we have our great birthday show coming to Mulcahy's. Dylan Scott, Daniel Bradbury, March 21st. A couple weeks before that, Parmalee, uh, with all those hits, decade of hits uh, at Mulcahy's. And Chase Rice, a couple hundred tickets left for June moles.com you want to uh log on there and do that um oh before we get to the story i uh heard from barbecue tom yesterday yes let's hear uh so and by the way i'm only doing this to his child because i know he would appreciate it it is my honor to do this for barbecue tom's uh, uh child and make them uh, feel funny about uh, thinking this so he texted me a uh, picture of Luke Bryan's tour schedule. And as we have mentioned already in The Bald and the Beautiful, uh, he is July 6th, he's coming to Jones Beach. But on the calendar, it says Wantaw, New York. Oh. And Wanta, now, Jones Beach is in Wantaw, but so is Mulcahy's. And he texted me, and I'm not going to mention which child it was. I don't want to completely embarrass them. He says... My child, and he puts the name in there, uh, is asking, is Luke Bryan coming to Mulcahy's? <laughs> Which, by the way, the place holds 1,600 people. So I said, no, Wanta is also Jones Beach. So, uh, yeah, they, they did not realize that. I told him to go buy a map for the child's uh, bedroom wall, and they can, uh, you know, kind of see. I can all... understand that kind of an error. Yes, uh, yeah, I, of course. It's uh, I'm having a little fun with it, but uh, yes, Luke Bryan not coming to Mulcahy. He will be at Jones Beach, uh, 15,000 strong. But he did send me an answer to a question from weeks ago, uh, so he is listening. He, he Obviously, we know he's an avid listener. Yes. He says, in answer to your question last week, I think, the only time I don't barbecue is temperatures below freezing. Oh, I had a feeling. He says... Does he have a light with on his head the, in a helmet form? <laughs> oh, God, now I got to get another text about the light on his head? Yeah, maybe. He'll, Tom, I let us know. He's a true griller of wintertime. He will have one. He says he puts up a tent if he knows it's going to be raining, but it can't be below freezing. And that, by the way, he'll only put the tent up and go out in the rain if he's barbecuing for other people other than his family. If it's just his family and it's raining, dinner will be in the oven or takeout. Got it. Makes All right. sense. Yes. So there's your answer. There's from, our uh, update. From uh, our, our uh, we haven't spoken about him in a while, barbecue time. if he has time. an indoor grill. Maybe he'll answer that question in, tomorrow. I've been in his house. What do you mean an indoor grill? You know, they have a thing where you could put on your stove. It's like a grill, and you can grill. Uh, oh, he might. Yeah, I mean, he might have one of those flat thing. I think we have one of those. Yeah, I mean, that's a common, that's a fairly common thing. But I don't. I've never seen him grill in the house. But yeah, Tom, if you want to let us know if you yeah, let have, us know. It's a very important question. I need answered. Right have away. ever uh, have have done that? But I can't. But the smoke and everything. I don't know. Anyway, we'll let him answer that. Uh, Candy, a study found sitting in traffic for two hours makes you dumber. Really? Yes. Now it has to I do would with think angrier, moodier. That, that too. Um, it's also been linked with depression as well. Um, wow. The dumb thing has to do with exhaust from cars and big trucks as you sit in traffic. Ooh. Listen to how they did this study. They got, I don't, this is crazy. They got 25 
healthy adults to volunteer to inhale diesel fumes. Oh, my goodness. And then they scanned their brains with an MRI. I don't like that. Res well, they volunteered. I'm sure they were oh. paid. Oh. A MRI results showed lower functional connectivity in their brains, meaning they couldn't think as clearly. Different parts of their brain were not communicating. Yes, because when you inhale uh, diesel fumes, you start to pass out, right? Wow. I mean, is it? I, come on. Yeah, uh, this is about the craziest thing. I, I would never, I mean, no, I'm not volunteering to do that. So ever. they they tell you... Um, if you you know if you can keep your windows up in traffic and make sure your uh, air in the car is cold but not too cold. You know I often think and they are becoming rarer and rarer about the toll takers. Do you know how much they breathe in? Oh my God! Yeah, of course. Oh and my goodness! Toll takers are a thing of the past. Maybe there's just a couple well, here there and there. Well, there are some, not couple. as many as there used to be. But wow! I always yeah. thought about what they're breathing in. I always felt bad. Well, I, I remember driving into New York City quite a bit with my family it, through the um, the Midtown Tunnel or the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel. Yes. And every time we'd enter the tunnel, my parents would put the windows up and put the uh, the air conditioning on. Right. Be because they you, you, they Someone didn't want wants the fumes. To breathe that. Right. I rolled and, my windows up too. Oh no no no. Yeah, when you're uh, when you're going into the the tunnel for sure. So, uh, yeah, they finally realized that uh, probably not a good idea. So, if you, and you know, it's hard because you're sitting in traffic. You know, you don't want to really have the uh, the air conditioning on and everything, and you know, uh, running and you know, it's it's a hard thing. But yeah, you shouldn't be breathing in those toxic fumes. All right. No. All right. Less than 20 minutes to your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Uh, we're going to be at about 40, a little colder than yesterday. And tomorrow, 35 for the high. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.